Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Kavya Sama Love is War season 3 episode number 12 reaction. All right, before we begin, uh, I know this was uh, supposed to be I think this is supposed to be like a 1 hour episode but it's like you know episode 12 and 13. Uh, when I'm reacting to this now, only episode 12 has come out. So I'm reacting to this now. So I don't know when episode 13 will come out. It'll probably be out by the time I end this reaction. I'm not sure but or it might come out later on i don't know whenever it will come out i'm going to react to it so for now it will be episode 12 and it might take a while for episode 13 to be uploaded depending on the time when it's released and when i'm able to react to it so it'll probably like you know probably episode 2 will be will be will be out very soon uh, my reaction to it but episode 13 will probably take maybe a few hours on my mind maybe a day or it'll, it might come out earlier it will depend i'm not even sure when it's going to when i'm going to re react it and record uh, to it so that's one thing that i wanted to let you guys know first so anyways let us begin with uh, this episode reaction all right the previous episode a few things we um a few developments we had uh number one is we got like a, had had a conversation kaguya had a conversation with subame and subame talked about how she like you know she doesn't like ishigami like that and uh, you know she's kind of fearful of the fact that like you know these kind of things like you know uh love romance these might actually make her too engrossed in that and that's why she might actually stop following her dreams that type of a situation she said something like that and since she doesn't want to hurt ishigami you know she's unable to say anything to him and you know like something like that and uh, later on when she sees ishigami and ino interact she realized that she doesn't even know ishigami that much so she said okay i'll keep my answer on hold let me learn more about ishigami then i'll give him the answer so that's one of the biggest development that we had in the previous episode uh, another thing is uh, that happened is was um shirogane and miyuki went out uh, like you know to the different stalls shirogane wants to spend as much time with kaguya because you know he has very less amount of time and kaguya was obviously very surprised she, she was like wow today everything is working out so well uh, chika is not coming to distract me nah, like you know nothing no obstructions nothing is happening what's going on and they had a great time but by the end when they go to the student council room shirogane gives her the letter the letter of acceptance and he tells her that yeah i'll be going abroad so let's see what happens it'll continue from there so yeah let us begin this is episode number 12 so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it whichever is a preference and let's get started all right here's the countdown three two one go oh my god oh Mm. Yep. October. This time next, so one more year, okay. Oh my God. Oh boy. <clears throat> well, she it'll take some time, not some time, but it'll take a moment for her to take in all of this. Oh boy, she just suddenly got hit by that. Like, she was having such a good time and then suddenly she gets confronted with this. Boy.
Okay. Oh boy, this started. Yeah. She needs to talk about this with someone. Oh boy. <clears throat> yeah. True. Oh my god. Stop, Hayasaka. Uh. Alright. She is teasing her too much. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, she's not going to do that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> she had like a whole plan. She had. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one year. There's still one year left. So then... Yep, she needs to... S she needs to confess. <laughs> Yo, well, it took three seasons, you know, <laughs> but yeah, oh, she already has everything planned, <laughs> top secret plan, it's as if she's selling something to her, ah, Okay. <laughs> okay then. Ah, perfect. Hot canned coffee. <laughs> it's a good plan. That'll work, you know, no problem. It'll work. It'll work, even if she says that it'll work. Monkey sound. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You need to, you need to think of it. Okay, let's hear it. <laughs> All right, that's perfect. Why? What? Five double? Like what? Oh, he's she's thinking of all of the cliches that happens in anime and she's like you need to have all okay. <laughs> she's right. She's right. Listen to her, Kaguya. Zero positivity. <laughs> oh my god. Yep. Yeah, that'll work. All right. <laughs> mm hmm. 
¿Qué? Hmm. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Uh the episode from season one. Hmm. Yep. Oh boy. Yeah. Like a man, so freaks performing. First attempt at the cultural festival. Okay. No, oh, it's, it's where is he? <clears throat> oh, is he at the roof? Maybe. No. <laughs> yeah. Wait, where is Shirogana? Oh. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> uh. <laughs> the whole legend of Sakura trees. Ah, the dead bodies under Sakura trees. Ah. Wow, she know he knows a lot. <laughs> no. Nice. Yeah, she Oh my god. Also, oh, this happened after. <laughs> he thinks that she's talking about the tree. <laughs> uh... Hmm. Ah, okay. Oh my god, is she going to... Oh my god, the misunderstanding here. The misunderstanding. Oh my god, what's he going to say? Oh no. 
Oh, oh no! Yeah, there you go. So, oh no! Stop this misunderstanding. A lot of base, not slightly. <laughs> Yo! Stop this misunderstanding. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, I'm just Whoa, what the <laughs> What is this? Oh, is this like a play? Oh, the, uh, the legend, the legend of, okay, yeah, oh no, he'll understand now, he'll understand now, he gave, oh my god, yeah, yeah, come on, make the connection, Yes, what did you give to someone recently? A bread, you remember? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, thank God he's understanding. Oh, yes, thank you. <laughs> yep. He realized now. <laughs> Thank God he understood. Y what? You. She know. Okay. But he kind of understood what he did, so it's fine, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Where is he? Oh, is he like planning to confess or something here? Oh boy. <laughs> yeah? Well... <laughs> exactly. Game of love. Hmm... <laughs> yeah oh the whole phantom thief what is what's going on what's up with this thing oh wait is this being oh you know what i i connected the dots it's 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 shirogane who's been doing this you remember his dad said something like i did something his dad and he's he are both It took me so long to realize it. <laughs> oh. Um hello? So Shirogane Plans to confess using those balloons, I'm guessing? <laughs> Sh 
Shivana's dad helped him out. I'm pretty sure about it. Dual Confessions Part 1. <laughs> Yeah. In organic. What? Architect. Wait. Damn. Oh. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Ah. But Kagura realized something after reading it, I think. He or she realized something. Oh. Okay, so yeah. It took me so long to realize it was Shirogana doing this. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. Obvious reason. Oh. oh yeah okay no solution Okay. <laughs> that was just Yeah, that was completely wrong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Arsen. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right. Damn. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Oh, yeah, the roof, the rooftop, yeah, so he's all, oh, wait, <laughs> he's just buying coffee, what the, um, hello? What? 
Yo, is this haunted or something? <laughs> Wait, there's... Uh... Yo! Did she drop it? Oh no, she dropped it. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Wait, like, is Shiron actually waiting there? He's just standing there. <laughs> oh my god, no, no, stop. <laughs> He's realizing it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, they're here. Wow. <laughs> well, that took a turn. It, it took me so long to realize that the Arsene whole thing has been done by Shirogan. Probably because when this whole everything was happening, the whole uh, someone stole the balloon thing, Shirogan was there. So it never dawned on me that Shirogan is the one who did it. And it suddenly, I suddenly realized today that it must be Shirogane because I remembered his dad saying something like, like he, he asked his dad by asking something like, you didn't do something unnecessary, did you? And his dad was like, you know, was giving a smart smile. So I'm guessing his dad helped him out some way to, you know, it, in, in doing this. I don't know how, but some way. I might be wrong though. But anyways, the fact is that Shirogane is the one who has been doing this. All right, that's the end. Okay, guys, um, I saw that 13 is already out, so I'll be including this, uh, that reaction as well in this video. At first, the intro where I said that I might include, like, do it in another video, but no, I'm not going to do that. I'll be including this episode 13 as well, the reaction here. So before we begin episode 13 reaction, let me talk a little bit, like, you know, five minutes kind of about this episode. Um, the things that happened here, uh, the first thing that happened, obviously, Kawe was shocked she fell completely like you know, she was having so much fun and suddenly realizing that shirogane will be going away this time of the year next year she won't he he will go to uh um, like you know go abroad for his education hit her and <clears throat> she obviously she wasn't able to control herself she was like okay like a you know, good job congratulations and quickly she tried to run away from there goes away gets hayasaka and tells her about the whole situation and here Hayasaka tries to kind of I'm guessing lighten the mood and was kind of making little jokes about the whole situation but then he she realized how much hard Kaguya is taking this she apologized and she's like one thing that she said was kind of interesting she says something like oh you need to actually realize uh, a lot of things you, you can can't just confess you have to think about what why who like you know five w and one h I think something like that she said which basically what she tried to say is she Hayasaka is the one person who is probably the our one savior who just completely destroys all the you know anime confession cliches for example like you know <laughs> confessing in front of a rail track never do that you know like who knows when you're going to confess a train is always going to come and just the other person won't be able to hear your confession 
Ah, number one cliche. Another cliche. Fireworks never confess, you know, in a fireworks festival. Oh boy, a fireworks is going to... <laughs> the huge noise is going to completely destroy your confession. These cliches, you know, and a few other cliches as well. If, like, you know, Kaguya says, like, I like you or something like that, or Suki, something like that. Shirogane might misunderstand. Shirogane might be like, oh yeah, you like this uh, culture festival, don't you? Don't worry, me too. And that's going to completely ruin the confession. So our savior here, Hayasaka, destroyer of cliches. She's like, you need to understand <laughs> and be very specific <laughs> what you want to say. So there you go. And uh, yeah, I am like, you know, thank God Hayasaka said that because that might have happened. I, like, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if something like that happened. <laughs> but Hayasaka warned Kaguya, so I'm sure Kaguya will be safe from now on. Anyways. Kaguya is like, okay, I'm going to, like, you know, confess. While on the other hand, Ishigami and Tsubame, uh, uh, Ishigami talks about the um, cherry blossom, which, uh, the whole, the thing about cherry blossom, which he says, is kind of interesting because I've heard there's like a legend, urban legend about how, uh, like, you know, underneath the cherry trees, there's like dead bodies, something like that, some kind of an urban legend like that, which people talk about. Um, that's why the, like, you know, cherry blossoms are so pretty or something like that. Uh, <laughs> they were talking about that and also Ishigami was talking about what type of cherry blossom is this and how she loves like you know flowers and everything and Subame remembers the time when a few girls told her that oh Ishigami is a very violent person you know be careful with him and Subame also kind of assumed that but now she realizes she knows nothing about Ishigami and more and more she, she realizes that and then she's like, I'm going to take a little bit of time, you know, like, when do you want me to, like, you know, give the answer? Ishigami is confused. Ishigami is like, what is she talking about? Ishigami thinks that she's talking about the cherry blossoms. And she's like, oh, uh, March. <laughs> Subame is like, March, that's a long time. And she's like, okay, in March then, like, I'm going to think more about you and give you a proper answer. Ishigami is confused. Ishigami is like, what is she talking about? And then when they go to that, the, the like you know the play the Hoshin legend is playing Ishigami actually pieces together everything thank god this did not become a misunderstanding I guess you could say there's still a little bit misunderstanding but at least Ishigami realized what he did he realizes that oh my god I just gave Subame a, like you know heart-shaped bread so that means I gave my heart to her but then she, he's like, oh, Subame probably doesn't even count that as a confession, something like that. And he's still kind of in a minor misunderstanding, but at least he understood what he did. <clears throat> That's well enough for now, I think. And uh, while all of that is happening, Kaguya is in, like, you know, going to light the fire and Shirogane is not there. And I don't know why, but I didn't even realize, even now I didn't realize that Shirogane is the one who's been doing the whole phantom thief thing. And when the, um, the paper started coming down, that's when it struck me. I'm like, okay, it's, Ish it's Shirogane who's been doing this. And, uh, you know, go to the rooftop and obviously our love detective Chika thinks too much about things. And she makes some, uh, like, you know, <laughs> some deductions and she's like, oh, this is architect paper. You know, oh, like, you know, like uh, this, like, you know, this is happening here. So they, she like makes some deduction and she decides to go somewhere else, you know, like the whole latitude, longitude thing she thinks about and <laughs> gives some very amazing speeches. But Kage realizes as soon as she saw the <clears throat> uh, paper and read it and Kage explains how this is just a bait for Chika and people like her who are going to go in a different direction. Well, Shirogane will be waiting at the top, you know, of the highest place, the tower, clock tower, I think. And Kaguya is like, yeah, I'm going to go there. And, uh, you know, like she, the, like, you know, she decides to go and she, she says, like, okay, has like, I don't need your help anymore. I'm going to do this on my own. And, <laughs> you know, like he, she starts going there. And as soon as she said that, things start kind of, kind of completely going out of order. First of all, the vending machine is broken. She cannot get her coffee. She lost her necklace and she's like, Hasaka, help me. <laughs> While on the other hand, Shirogane, the actual excitement of the whole situation is wearing down. 
and he's actually realizing what he's doing and the embarrassment is hitting and he's like what am i doing here in on top of the tower with a with <laughs> with a cape and a hat what the hell am i doing and he's getting embarrassed so things are kind of breaking down little by little and uh, but still they are committing to it shogun is still waiting there while kage is going on top so yeah the next episode which i'm going to react to after this is i'm sure that will have the hopefully i really hope it has the confession i think it will have because there's been so much hype about this you know like the art's name is dual confessions art so i'm guessing something with um what's her name uh subame and uh, uh ishigami might also happen i don't know so we'll see you know uh, the next episode we'll see what happens but yeah that's where it ends so let us see what happens after that so i'll be beginning episode number 13 which is the final episode of Kagesama Love is War season 3. I don't know if there has been any other um what do you call it? Uh like you know announcement of some further seasons. Let me watch the next ep season uh and not season, sorry, next episode and maybe like you know I'll I'll realize like you know like maybe they're like you know hinting something or something like that. We'll see if there's some kind of hints in this episode. So yeah, let us start the next one. All right, so the this is episode number 13, the final episode. So yeah, I'll put in the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is a preference and let's get started. All right, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. <coughs> All right. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh wait. Oh my god, I re is he going to confess again? That'll be... Oh, he, he found it! Ha! Ah, will he realize? This is Kaguya's. <laughs> wow. Those in love live in terror. Yeah. Oh, she's here. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. Hmm. 
a Kerdega, né? <risos> yep. Ah! Uau! Chega, né? Skunk! Ah, ok. Yeah. Wow, the sketches. Hmm. Well, look at this one. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, she's scared of that. Come on. Okay. Okay. Uh, yes, yes. Oh no, she's thinking of the. Oh my god, I thought she said that. <laughs> okay, come on, sure, Anne. Okay. Whoa, what the? Oh, there you go, the balloons, like I said. He. Okay, this is. All right, come on. Let it be a heart shaped balloon. Yes! Yes! Wow, okay. Okay, this is good. This is great. Yes. Yes. Yes, finally. Oh my god. Okay, this is really good. <laughs> oh, okay. There you go, his, his dad was with him in this plan. Okay. Ah! Okay, that's why the cosplay of Arsene... Alright. <laughs> the... <laughs> and the whole uh, detective thing. Oh, okay, this one as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's why the whole uh, arson, yeah, that thing, the detective thing. Wow, he planned everything. Huh? 
hundreds of hearts okay insert them into the word of balloon that's what he's been doing all along okay Ah, uh, I sent Eno and Ishigami to come. Oh, wow, wow. Damn, he did a lot of. You have a lot of intellect from this. I couldn't understand. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Uh. True, that's why he decided to okay become equal. Wow, okay, that's a good reason. That's a really good reason, I have to say. Like he said, he wants to be his her equal. If she just wait, what? Okay, there you go. Giving her the heart. Oh! She also got one. Wait, what? Who is this? Why are you deducing everything? Wow, she's right on mark. <laughs> yeah. Wait, he asked her for help, I think. Ah, uh, there you go. He asked her for help. I don't need the sign. Would it be possible? Oh, wait. Oh, wait! Wait, so he asked her for her letter as well? Wait, so is she also going? Oh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. So he also got another letter of recommendation, which is for Kavya. Grant my wish. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay. All right, there you go. 
I, I, I remember I talked about this in one of the previous episodes. I was like, cannot, can't Stavi also go with him? Oh yeah, her father. But... No, the letter of recommendation. And yeah, sh she's intelligent, so... Okay. Yeah. Abandon my family. Yo, she's going crazy. She's overheated. She needs hydration. She's... Okay, don't fall down. Okay, yeah. Can you give me the heart, a balloon, please? The balloon. No, wait. Oh. Oh, I thought she was going to ask for the balloon. She's just going for it. Okay, that's also okay, I guess. Yo. Mm. You're supposed to dance with her. What? What's happening here? Wait, what? Yeah, she, she also wanted to see the campfire being. Took away from it. Okay. Oh. Wait, what the? Oh my god. <laughs> Ishigami, you gave two girls cut this guy. <laughs> it is for the lost box, I understand that, but still. Oh, he... Is it... Ah, he made a video. Oh no, wait, is that... Yeah, he made a video of it. Mm. Mm. The roller coaster. It's about to draw to a close. It's about what does Kavya want from Shirogani? Come on, let. Oh my God, this girl. <laughs> oh my God, there'll be some kind of like ah got you or something like that. Tricked you? Some? Oh wait, no. What? Which you? They really came up on a secret. What? Okay. Okay, I... <laughs> Wait, what's happening here? There's an actual secret here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yo. Her retina wasn't able to take it. <laughs> oh boy. Yo, she, 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 okay. She, she, she loves to see that. Okay. Come on, show us the scene properly. Yeah. That balloon. <laughs> wow, okay, there you go. Oh, let you burning the okay, that's hard. What's happening here? Okay. Yeah, she did accept. She did say like, okay, yeah, I'm going to go. Oh, she's getting embarrassed now. <laughs> He's overheating. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god Off. Wait, what? Oh my god. What's she talking about? Oh my god. Um, what? Oh my god. Oh yeah, th that did happen. <laughs> um, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, is she writing a letter or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Love is for ultra romantic. Okay, that is definitely going to be a next season. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so this ended in a what can I say? In a in such a better way than I expected. I I like the fact that Shirogane asked Kaguya to go with him because I feel like Kaguya wouldn't be able to say something like 
that like you know like like i don't know like there is definitely something going on with kaguya's family like some kind of restrictions and stuff we already know that from season one we've been getting hints of that so if it was left to kaguya i'm sure kaguya would never say that can i go with you to stanford like you know like something like that even if she wanted she herself couldn't bring it up so i'm glad that shirogana said it so that Kaguya can actually be like, all right, you know, like the point of that was actually like introducing the idea that, yeah, why don't Kaguya also come with me if she wants to. And that's why uh, Shirogane also had, I guess he asked her principal for another letter of recommendation. And Kaguya is also a very good student. Like, you know, there is no reason not to give her like a letter of recommendation in my opinion so i'm pretty sure the principal was also okay with that wait it's already spring the the sakura is blooming oh then Ish ishigami's confession What? <laughs> Happy life came to. So are they dating? Okay, come on. Are they holding hands? Yes! 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 Oh! <laughs> uh, please don't say that. To be continued? I really hope they get... I'm sure they'll get another season. What am I saying? Why did the narrator say it's in the end? Why? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> a next season. I was, I was expecting a little hint as to we're getting a, a, another season. But I'm sure eventually they're going to bring up another season. Because this is too popular not to have another season. And this is where everything is getting... Uh, what can I say? Like, getting started, you could say. So, yeah. Like, like, I'm guessing from the next season, we'll probably have more of them in a relationship. Which we never got. Which will be very interesting. I really hope we get the season quick. The next season. Because up until now, it was the whole love is war, who's going to confess, this and that. But now that they've confessed, you know, like, we, we're going to get something different, I'm guessing, from the next season. So, yeah. All right. Oh, God. This was the final episode the, of this season. And, uh, okay, we begin with um, Kavya going uh, to the rooftop. And uh, while she was going there, Ishigami comes across the chain the heart shape, uh, shaped uh, locket and he takes it and i i thought uh oh yeah but like how could ishigami know that that's actually kaguya's for a moment i thought he realized that that was kaguya's but no how can he know that like he has no idea who it's for the, uh yeah okay so kaguya goes on top and uh, here shirogane is like you know ready with the cosplay and he's just standing there and he's like um yeah i i am the mastermind of this and i wanted to show you how it looks like you know to watch this whole thing from the top of the um what do you call that from the top of the uh, tower yeah so okay now kavya and shirogane are there and uh, Shirogan is like, do you want something? You did catch the Phantom Thief. And here Kaguya thinks about, like, you know, everything about how he wants to, she wants to confess, how she wants to say that, uh, like, you know, be by my side forever. And uh, how she cannot do that. The whole situation, you know, like, her, like, she talks about her whole situation. And he says that, um, I'm a cold person who always looks at people and thinks about how that person will be 
um, you know, like beneficial to me. I always judge people like that while you are a person who looks at everyone, helps everyone and is kind to everyone. So you being that person, I'm actually afraid that I will be good enough for you. And I'm also afraid if the kindness that you show others and everyone is also the same type of kindness that you show me. So if I think about this as something special, I might be misunderstanding. And uh, if I confess, you know, you might reject me because you're kind to everybody. That's also why you're kind to me. I'm not special. That type of a thing, like, you know, Kagya says here. And uh, she starts thinking about this and she starts crying and Shirogan is obviously flustered. He's like, okay, I didn't do this to embarrass you, this and that. And Shirogan, you know, here for a moment when Kaga's like, I like you, I was like, okay, thank God she finally said that. And then I see that she's actually <laughs> thinking about it. I'm like, God damn. Uh, okay, so here Shirogan is like, all right, you know what? Let me go along with my plan. You know, like the, the rest of the plan that she has. So he, um, he gets ready and uh, I'm, wait, that was the weather balloon, wasn't it? He pressed the button on his phone and uh, yeah, the, the balloon that uh, the, the, the big dragon had, I guess it was that, wasn't it? Yeah. So it, it was brought in front of the, the, the campfire, the heat melted it and blasted off and the, like, you know, the hot air from below probably like, you know, kind of made like an air current, I'm guessing. And the little balloon, hard balloons started flying up towards the clock tower and the dam. So Shirogane also planned the whole, <laughs> he also calculated the air current direction, this and that. And all of that and made this happen wow that's crazy you know like it's like a it's like a sniper <laughs> they're gonna just ready with her, his sniper rifle <laughs> thinking about the humidity the air current and taking his shot <laughs> oh god anyways so <clears throat> the heart the, the red-hearted balloons just fly up towards uh, the clock tower and uh, here, Shirogane says, like, since I might not be able to properly express myself, this is my way of confessing. You know, like all of these hearts, red balloons going towards the, uh, like, you know, the place. And this is his way of confessing. Now, by the end of it, I'm pretty sure Kaguya realizes that he confessed, you know, like, and also Shirogane realizes that she also confessed because he, she kissed her, him. Like, like, you know, like who would do this, you know, like who would like make a situation like this, like, you know, just like calculate everything so that the heart start flowing. Obviously, that was a confession. I'm sure both of them realizes that. But by the end of it, we do see Kaguya say something like, I want him to actually say it, which is fair enough, you know, obviously, like, you know, like you, you need like a verbal, um, I guess, what can you say, uh, a verbal, um, like communication method of like, you know, verbal way of saying that yeah I like you that type of thing so that was obviously something I'm sure they probably did I don't know like and I'm guessing by the end of it we did see there was like a little time skip so I don't know what happened within that time but we did see them holding their hands so I guess everything worked out um <clears throat> but either way um yeah so it was, it was so crazy that in this section, Shirogane talks about what he did. You know, he decided all of this from the day he got the letter from Stanford. He was like, okay, I'm going to make a plan. And he, he calculated everything. There was so many things like, damn, like, you know, he was also, like, you know, ready to destroy all the cliches, all the, like, you know, um, uh, what do you call it? The obstructions that might come. Like, you know, the... <laughs> He was ready. He was like, I'm not going to let a, a usual anime cliche destroy my confession. So I'm going to <laughs> wipe out all the obstructions that might come in front of me. So what were the obstructions? Uh, number one was obviously Chika. 
it was the biggest uh, obstruction you know like she's definitely going to come and try to try to do something like you know mess the whole thing up so he decided to do the whole um phantom thief thing you know by making like you know this like a mystery which chica will obviously be baited with you know that's number one uh, another thing that he did was obviously like you know the cosplay of arsene lupin well um he <clears throat> you know like decided that okay like they like the cosplay is also kind of appropriate for this and <laughs> balloon art then he decided to do that because he was like okay i'm going to do this whole thing with balloons so that was another thing he decided to do um the whole thing with um the food stalls he also put in you know so that um uh, eno would not kind come to like obstruct the confession he, he should obviously get hungry and she'll go there the whole thing with um ishigami as well another thing he did was um uh, the the committee the campfire thing you know a lot of people are going to not allow this from the neighborhood so he got ready and he was like okay i'm going to put me uh, ino and ishigami on this you know on this whole campfire like you know so that the campfire happens and uh, he put them in charge of that and they were successfully able to do it so all the plans each and everything he did and uh, obviously his dad and his sister also helped him out and i'm like i said you know you remember that episode where um shogun said something like something to his dad he said something like i hope you didn't do something extra did you and his dad was just laughing giving a smug smile so it was something related to that as well i'm guessing you know he probably asked his dad for help and his dad also helped him out and uh, obviously the hoshin legend he uh, based the hearts upon that and uh, oh one thing I, I i can actually see here uh, uh the one thing i realized you know like this part where i didn't uh, notice it before now i'm noticing it when the hearts are uh, moving up Ishigami is actually recording it. That's what he gave like you know Eno later on. You know, like he was recording that. Okay. <clears throat> so all these plans, um, uh, the festival committee. Okay, there you go. And uh, yeah. Now here, one big thing comes up, which which I was kind of surprised with, and I'm like, okay, this is quite a good reason the reason why he wants kaguya to confess he has an actual valid reasoning for that like the whole uh, whoever falls in love loses that thing you know like love is for all that stuff nothing like that what he actually explains here actually does make sense you know the thing that he says here is she, obviously kaguya has a lot of things you know she's intelligent she's you know she has everything she has I, like you know uh, rich family all that stuff she's like in a different league to him so if shirogane confesses like we saw in that visual representation we see kaguya on top and kaguya just holding like you know kind of extending her hand towards shirogane shirogane grabbing it it'll be that situation where kaguya is just going to like you know be dragging shirogane and it'll be just you know like kaguya still being on top he doesn't want that he wants them to be equal you know that's why he always wanted kaguya to confess to him which is actually a very good reason you could say you know like i'm i'm, I'm actually glad they explained this you know like and shogun actually has a reason why he wants kaguya to confess here we go that's precisely why i can't ask you to go out with me if I take the hand that you extend to me after imploring you when I confess, it means I'll never be your equal as long as I live. There you go. That's what he doesn't want. And that's why he wanted Kaguya to confess. He wanted to be equal. I need you to want me and confess your love for me. Only then I can feel like you're equal. Okay, there you go. I can't confess to you first. Okay, so okay, all of that was happening, and wait, who is this ran? <laughs> this girl, this like you know, all of that was happening. There was like two random girls. Who was that? One of the girls just deduced deduced the whole thing. 
She's like, do you think maybe the Phantom Thief is on top of the <laughs> clock tower? <laughs> he must have calculated the campfire's position and all that to make balloons drift that way, right? Huh? Why would he do that? To create an environment to confess to someone. What else? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. How many people even have that kind of authority? Besides the only one with the key of the clock tower are the faculty and the student council. <laughs> the saga is just hyperventilating. Oh god. Now, here we get a few other explanations as well, how he was able to go there on top. He had two other people helping him out. Um, the, 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 the girl, Momo, I think, that's what her name? Yeah, that girl and the principal. So, the thing that he asked Momo for is, like, you know, the whole weather balloon thing and making the balloon situation. And at first, Momo was like, why would I do that? And then... <clears throat> Shirogana, I'm guessing Shirogana helped her out before. Uh, oh yeah, I think one of the comments actually explained it to me. Like he helped her out in some way. I don't remember the comment. I'll have to go back to the comment. Uh, so yeah, that's why Shirogana is like, oh, like, you know, I, I did help you. And so I'm guessing Momo just was like, all right, fine, man, I'm going to do it. The principal, however, he actually says here, I have the ra right to ask. He, he asked another thing from the principal. This is the part where I really got surprised. And it was a really pleasant surprise i have to say he says i have the right to ask for two letters of recommendation don't i <clears throat> since i don't need the second one would it be possible to give that right to the vice president there you go and he's like oh yes as long as that's you want it's fine so there you go um <clears throat> so he even asked a letter of recommendation for Shinomiya. Okay, there you go. Then could you write a letter of recommendation for Shinomiya, please? She might be needing it right away. <laughs> and principal is like, right away? Alright. So... Oh, oh, okay, on top, Kage is kind of laughing and uh, Kage is like, huh, like, you know, like, I never thought you'd go this far. And uh, okay, now here's where Shirogana brings it up. Shirogana is like, I need a bigger wish from you than like, no, he's thinking, like, I need a bigger wish from Kaga than just confessing. And here he says, like, apply, apply to Stanford, Shinomiya, come with me to the US. And there you go. Like Kage was thinking, I wanted to be with him forever, and that's the same thing that Shirogana had with in his mind as well and here like i i remember saying the same thing before in one of the previous episodes i said something like wait uh kaguya uh, like you know like uh, is obviously also very intelligent i'm pretty sure she can also apply for stanford so can't she not go with the president but i also thought of another thing which also one of the comments also told me that her family situation obviously we've been getting a lot of hints that it's it's not good you know, and his her dad has I don't know what's up with her dad, but there is something you know like he he's probably very strict something like that, and you know, Kaga doesn't have much freedom, so uh, yeah family problems she might not be able to do that you know might not be able to go to Stanford that's also another one thing that kind of crossed my like you know mind as well and that's why I was like yeah it's probably not possible for kaguya to do that because of her family situation and she says the same thing here there's no way that my father would align allow me to do so or do so and how insanely competitive is stanford not to mention it might be too late she's also always like you know kind of saying all of this shiragana's like no problem you know like you can make it a deadline come with me Shira shinomiya and obviously kaguya is very happy she's like oh what should i do and then she's like all right then yes very well i too will go to stanford i don't know why but i'm, I'm getting a feeling she was kind of like very hesitant like she wants to go there but i'm definitely sure like, like you know like in this section we see her sweating a little bit so i'm pretty sure in her head she's thinking about what to do with her family you know she's thinking about that because i guess that's the biggest obstruction in this point you know biggest obstacle in, in her way her family, her father not allowing that. And 
I'm pretty sure Kaguya can probably like she she's just a little bit like you know her score is a little bit less than the president. They're like first and second all the time. So through academic, she'll probably be able to go for it. She also has a letter of recommendation. It won't be a problem. You know, she will meet the deadline. But the biggest obstruction will probably be her dad. And that's probably what she was thinking at this moment. She was a little bit sweating and she was kind of like, you know, in a weird way saying yes. I'm guessing she, in her head, she was thinking of all of that at that moment. But obviously she wanted to go. So she was like, yeah, I'm going to go. And <laughs> she was like, it's scary if you make up your mind like that. And here we go. And Kawa brings up another hint, which kind of hints the whole family situation again. I pondered hard with the intent to abandon my family. There you go. And yeah, so it was definitely she was thinking about her dad and her family, what they're going to say. And uh, that's why she was kind of sweating at this point. But anyways, uh, also obviously the pressure that, oh, I will have to go there. I will have to, uh, you know, uh, apply there and also be accepted. That's also another pressure and stress, you could say. That was also probably making her sweat. But she's happy at the same time. So yeah, she's just freaking out at this point. And then she's like, okay, I want something from you. You did say that you're going to give something to me. And <laughs> she kind of grabs Shirogane's cheeks. Okay, this part here. Um, this part, I don't understand what the hell happened here. First of all, Kashiwagi comes in to Maki. She's like, okay, come on, let's dance, Maki. Maki's like, no thanks, go on and dance with your boyfriend. And she's like, I'd rather dance with you. And Maki's like, why would you? Kashiwagi is like, because you're supposed to dance with the person you like the best, right? I'm so confused here. Like, if he said, if she said something like, oh, you know, like you're my best friend, obviously I'm going to dance with you. I would have been like, okay, it's obviously it's fine. If she says something like, the person you like the best, like, this this section throws me off. What throws me off is what Maki asks her. She says, "You like me better than Subasa?" Question mark. That's what I was also thinking. I'm like, what is she saying? And it again throws me off. She's like, "Of course I do." What is happening here? My god, this girl throws me off. Kashiwagi is so... Because at sections, I, I, I'm, I'm not able to figure out what the hell she's thinking. Like, obviously we know he, she loves, like, you know... What was her boyfriend's name? Subame, I think? Something like that, yeah. No, Subame is the girl's name. Oh god. <laughs> Subasa, yeah. Um, so obviously he, she likes her, we know that. Like, you know, she's extremely positive, this and that. So... Then what the hell was this conversation here? I don't understand. Like, Maki clearly asks her, like, you li like me more than, uh, like, you know, your boyfriend? You like me more than your boyfriend? And she's like, yes. I'm like, what? What's happening here? This part is a little bit confusing to me. I'm like, what is happening here? Like I said, if she said something like, oh, you're my best friend, obviously I'm going to dance with you. It would have been fine. But the way she says that, you know, and... It's, it's really throwing me off like so yeah like so i don't know again you know this part is a little bit confusing that was that now here we get a little bit of um that girl the glasses girl i always forget her name what's her name oh god damn i forgot her name I the girl, the girl, glasses girl, who's always with uh, Eno. She talks about how he, she wanted Eno to also kind of, you know, like grow, always being with her, you know, and being hyper protective of her is not going to do any good for her. So she wanted her to, you know, lead her own life as well. And uh, there we kind of get to um, Ishigami and Eno. And oh my god, Ishigami, this guy. I'm pretty sure he did not realize what he did again. Like, I understand. Like, I totally understand, you know? Like, Ishigami just went there and she's like, he's like, oh, I got the 
the kind of like a locket or a heart shaped necklace someone probably dropped it uh, let me give this to Eno. she can get, put it in the lost and found box i understand that's what he thought but still you know still <laughs> he goes and gives it to Eno, and at first Eno was like what and then when he's like oh they put it to the like and i found it in the locker rooms no, it's going to keep it in the lost and found box and she's like oh <laughs> takes it she's embarrassed she's like you gave me a start there <laughs> oh my god okay but then the thing that she he does is very nice he he actually like i said she was recording the whole thing he recorded it and brought it to you know and you know like you know actually made this possible and she was very excited for the campfire so her not being there was kind of you know not okay so ishigami brought him her that thing okay and then we move to the whole kaguya what kaguya wants from shirogane and i you know what i was actually thinking he she was going to say something like give me the heart you know she actually goes for it and i'm so glad <laughs> i'm so glad <laughs> you know um she extends towards the president while on the other hand chika really ends up with a mystery you know, like uh, one of the <laughs> bookcases, <laughs> secret compartment, they go in there with the two other girls, those two girls who are like big Kaguya and Shirogane fan. <laughs> they go there and they're like, okay, like, you know, let's see what this, like, you know, window is about. They look outside the window, take a binoculars and look at it. And oh boy, <laughs> she gets shot. <laughs> Just falls down on the ground. <laughs> because she has witnessed that scene and uh, yeah on top of the um uh what is that and on top of the uh, the tower you know kaguya has kissed shirogane and she's like what did she say here just a sec this is how i feel about you there you go that's a clear confession obviously um and she's smiling and that's where the whole thing cuts off you know and we also see the few other scenes as well uh we can see um you know looking at the uh chain and smiling like obviously like it, it's very like you know, obvious here like what's going to happen after that you know probably going to like ishigami while subame is thinking about what to answer ishigami like my god this guy <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh my god the thing he did here you know first of all he gave subame the heart shaped bread without even realizing it and then she gave like a heart shaped locket to you know like i said i know that's for the lost and found box i know that but still you know you know is getting a, the kind of the kind of kind of got embarrassed by getting that and she also knows that that's for the lost and found box still you know it's the human heart you know you, you can't just you can't just you know keep it uh controlled by facts and logic it's going to get emotional at like you know, at most of the times so yeah anyways um now shirogane is realizing what he did and she's kind he's kind of embarrassed now kaga explains the whole situation to hayasaka <laughs> talks about the kiss and talks about how she did it and oh my god the thing that he actually says here is that <laughs> she talks about what Kashiwagi and uh, Subasa did, you know, and she actually said that she she did the same thing. <laughs> and Hasaka was like, Hasaka was like, you idiot. <laughs> uh, but anyways, um, Kaguya says here that I wa do want uh, actual verbal, you know, confession, obviously. Because I do want to, like, you know, know what she thinks about me. And he's like, all right, let me try to get the confession from the president. And again, she starts devising ways of how to make the president confess. And that's where the, that whole thing ends. And then we get a little after credit scene where, um, you know, like, Shirogane, Kaguya, they're like in the, the student council room. 
and uh, Chika and all of them, like, you know, they're kind of talking about the thing. And it's spring, isn't it? Like, we see the spring flowers, you know, like the, 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 the sakura blooming. So I'm guessing it's time for Subame's uh, confession, not confession, but Subame to answer Ishigami as well. So there's a little time skip here, I'm guessing two or three months, something like that. So in that time, you know, that two or three months, we don't know what happened between Kaguya and Shirogane. But one thing we do know, you know, like we don't know if Shirogane actually confessed verbally or did Kaguya confess verbally. We know nothing about what happened. But we do see when they were like, you know, kind of talking, Shirogane and Kaguya are kind of holding hands, which is a clear indication that I guess they are dating. I think so, at least. So, yeah, there you go. Everything went out, you know, went in a very good direction. The one thing that I'm kind of concerned about is, oh my god, the narrator saying the end. I don't like that. I really hope they do a second, like a, a sequel as well. Like, take how much like, you know, time you like, but please, like, I, we need another sequel. We need to see what happens after this. Like, I'm sure they will do a sequel. If by any, like, you know, chance, I don't know, like, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's like 99.9% .9 chance there will be a future season. If by any chance the 0.1% chance comes true and we don't get a season, obviously I'm going to read the manga. But I'm sure that's not going to happen. You know, I'm sure there will be another season because they cannot end it like this in the anime. Please, no. I, I refuse to believe that. Like, like I said, the only thing that's kind of concerning me is the narrator saying the end. That's really concerning me. I don't know why. Let me know, please. I need, a, I need a little bit of, <laughs> little bit of, um, uh, what do you call that? Uh, what's that word? A little bit of, uh, I don't know, uh, something, like, you know, like some kind of a relief that, yeah, like, you know, like some kind of an indication that there will be a future season um there is however no i'm sure we will get like uh announcement if they are planning to do another season maybe in one or two months i sure hope we will get one but yeah that that line is really bothering me the narrator suddenly saying the end that's that's really bothering me i don't know why but either way, like I said, there's like a 99% chance we are definitely going to get another season. Because I, I doubt they're going to end the anime like this. I doubt that. Like, so many people love this show. I don't think they're going to do that. But anyways, so yeah, um, that's it, guys. A great finale. That was fantastic. I loved it. So yeah, can't wait. Like, like I said, like, you know, uh, from the next season that we're going to get, hopefully in the future, I'm sure we were going to get like their relationship up until now it was them trying to confess to each other from here on I'm guessing there they will be in a relationship and we're going to get to see more of that which will be really refreshing and interesting to see and the whole Ishigami situation is still not uh, resolved you know so what's Tsubame going to do the whole thing with Ino what's going to happen you know like that's still not resolved the whole Shirogane and Kaguya is kind of resolved. I guess they did confess, but the whole going to Stanford is also kind of on hold. What Kaguya's pa parents, their family, family is going to say about it, that's also a question here. You know, all these things are also pending. So a lot of things that are still pending. So I'm guessing those will be later on told in the future sequel. But yeah, anyways, so that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. This is my reaction to Kaguya-sama Love is War, season three, episode number 12 and 13 so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so that's it guys thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next week oh wait oh god <laughs> the show is over <laughs> uh, yeah i'm going to see you guys in whatever anime is going to replace this show i'm going to talk about which animes i'm going to watch from the upcoming season you know, like the new seasonal animals that are going to start. A lot of seasonal animals that I want to react to. I think seven of them. I'll talk about it in another video that I'm going to make in the future. The usual videos that I make, whatever, where I talk about what animes I'm going to watch, what animes are interesting and I'm kind of interested in. In that video, I'll talk about that. But anyways, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and yeah, see you guys next time. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.